Another question, I just want to make up some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please just give your name and affiliation. Uh, I'm Dr. Hitesh by profession. I've been working here for the last 20 years, exploring groundwater resources. Uh, so I just some points to make. In 2010, flash flood was there, and uh, I too happened to be here. We prepared, a, after that, we prepared a detailed report for that. In our study, we were able to conclude that the entire old town, old villages, old habitations were not affected by the 2010 flood. Only the new buildings, new habitations in Joglamsar, in Manesaring, the new habitations, in uh, Bamnala, or wherever it happened in Sabu, only the new habitations were devastated. We found that the disaster management uh, plan for the entire lay town was already in place hundreds of, year, hundreds of years ago. We had s observed that many walls were built almost in every villages in lay town and almost all the villages which we visited. <coughs> the stupas, the chortans, they were all disaster management structures. Any structures which were built beyond that were destroyed in 2010 floods. And in near future also, all those floods, all those structures which are built beyond that are susceptible to those risks. Any structure which are built in or inside those money walls will be protected in near future also. In, uh, and then you are talking about, uh, so, this is a disaster management plan already in place. Only we have to re relocate those money walls in uh, GIS systems, the stupas, and uh, everything is in place. Now the new habitations have come up, so they have to be taken care of. The flash floods are inevitable. Global warming is taking its toll. Glaciers, yes, there are no glaciers in Himalayas as far as this region is concerned. Khardungla glaciers is on the verge of extinction. So the, another disaster, maybe in 2030 or maybe 40, the moment this white line goes, there will be shortage of water in lay, as far as the surface water resources are concerned. Groundwater will also be a challenge because all the groundwater is being recharged by the Khardugla glacier. The third aspect, uh, I, I don't know what uh, the earthquakes you're talking about. Yes, this is the highest seismic zone in the world. But here only we have the nine stories built 500 years ago or maybe 600 years ago. So the engineering in the past, there is a lot to be learned. The engineering of the past were able to sustain all the earthquakes which happened. This is the highest seismic zone, the Indus Sanko Sucha zone. The collision between India and China took place here, right across Indus and shook. They are the, they are the, they are the remnants of those. Uh, magnificent event which happened in the past and today also the pressure is building when it will be released it's, it's, it's a matter of uh, study and research not not much has been done because we don't have any geological research institute in lay which has to take which has to be set up you know the himalayan research we need a high altitude uh, geological research to uh, monitor all these resources then if we can monitor those then definitely we can build good structures but now those were traditional buildings if you see mud buildings a lot of bricks used, wood used, but today we have concrete buildings. The effect of these concrete, concrete jungle which we have created now will be seen. How, how much strength do they have when it eventuality happens? Now, how, uh, how can we control or how can we uh, come up uh, or sustain the systems in case of eventuality, in case of earthquake, in case of another flash flood? That is a challenge. So, the simple solution which, which we have. Uh, try to see is build sustain in case of eventuality happens so building will collapse there will be disasters and then whatever in 2010 was once the flash floods were over then there was uh, bodies had to be taken up and then there was a shortage of water so if we have a very concrete plan of groundwater monitoring and if we can provide immediate groundwater solutions you know very well protected structures immediately whenever disasters happens everybody should know that uh, these are the groundwater structures which have to be reopened 
they have to be re relocated in safe zones. Safe zones will be again those which will be below, which will be inside the money walls. They will be again the safer zones. So in case of flash flooding activities, again, we are all concentrating on lay down only. Why? Because this has become an economic center. The entire, uh, and another solution could be developing Nimmo, developing uh, Karu as an alternate uh, economic centers so that, uh, so all the government buildings which from here start shifting there so that less, every, less people come and settle here. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I must say two or three more questions before coming back to the panel. Um, that's from 